All right, guys, welcome back to another fit, and this is the Connor Goldson in form player review. And I thought I would just do like a quick, like, introduction here on the fact on the difference between his normal card and his basic. So it's, a, it's an increase of seven. Um, his defending has got eight better. His physical's got seven better. His passing's eleven better. His shooting's eight better. His pace is seven better, and his dribbling's seven better. So if you look at it like that, it's definitely um, a massive improvement. But it, that's a good card. Like, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not just saying this because, oh, he's, a, he's a mighty, the mighty Rangers, you know, but... Um, it actually is, like, it's a fuck, it's a good card. Like, it, you'll struggle to find this year a, a better, um... Oh, I'm going to say a better, but, I mean, all, like, all round the 80 defence, 85, 75. You know, English, it's easy to link. Um, I'm trying to keep my the, the objective to get the, the best uh, the 100k pack, so I need to keep this trying to fit him in here with an 85 rate team. I guess it will be tough in itself, but yeah, I mean we'll probably get the job done. I'll build a wee team. We'll jump into a few games and we will see what he's like. But before we do that, let's take a wee look at his like actual in stats. So if you look at his strength, 90. That is good. Um, that's fucking brilliant actually. Uh, his defending, basically all high 70s or 80s. Uh, and that's what you want. Pace, I mean, it's all, all that matters is your pace, your defending, and your physical for a centre-back. I don't need to look into anything more here. But let's see if we can get the job done in Division Rivals. Here we go, though, into the first game here. And it's a relatively easy um, striker Connor Golden has to deal with. It's more the wingers um, in Kingsley Coleman and Gnabry. But I've noticed that you come up, the pusher of the team you come up against, the better the player, and the better the team, the pusher of the player. So... Maybe that'll be a case with me here. Connor Goldson! Fucking! Look at that! Look at that for a challenge! Getting stuck in, man. No right to get to that, but he went, you know what? And you yeah, and then I went, you know what? <laughs> Woo! But you know what? That doesn't take away from how good the fucking challenge was. But yeah, that's a good centre back card. Holy moly, 84 pace. Fucking Connor Goldson again. Winning the ball for us. Better than Gattuso. Uh, that's what FIFA's broke. Like, I mean, how can normal cards? Well, I know it's an inform, but I mean, basically, a normal card to be better than icons. It's. I see a team I had the other day, man. Hazard and all in it. Shevchenko. Absolute job squads. But Connor Goldson has got Gnabry here on toast. Look at that. What are you doing? Trying to get past me, mate? No. Oh, what? I mean, it's not Goldson, like, but Tamori. Holy fuck, man. This could be, like, the, the partnership of dreams. I mean, so you can see in corners, like, I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. Corners are broke this year, but that was unreal. Great play there to unleash Kevin De Bruyne. And I balled it. I'm fucking pissed, like. I've just lost that killer instinct. Fucking, I mean, it was so obvious what he was expecting me to do there, and I did it. Connor Goldson, no, and Ben Chilwell. Good wee partnership in there. With Tamori, I mean, this guy's not creating anything either. It's just that fucking belter of a sliding challenge. Like, it's actually just worked in this guy's favour, but it's Dominic Calvert Loon through to Anthony Martial. Has to score it. Fuck off. Can't intercept that one. Pish. I mean, look at Mbolo. And fucking Mbola. Chillwell, boom. Come on, man, why is this just no working? I know, I mean, De Bruyne was playing right mid in the first half, like, so maybe, that, maybe that's why that aspect wasn't working, but apart from that, everything else should be no bad, but it's over to Calvert-Lewin. Boom, Calvert-Lewin has to fucking do something about that, man. It's whipped right into the danger zone, and the guy bottles it. Goals in making sure his man doesn't make that run. I like to see it. Two, two Daniel James, though. And oh, Goldson's been done. I say he's been done, like, but he's the only guy fucking there. This team is so fucking shit, like, it's unbelievable. I mean, Goldson's fucking been the only player can actually. Him and Tamori, the two centre backs, even though we've conceded two, but like going forward, this team has been shit. Yes, it's two one. After the the most colossal botched goal you'll ever see in your life. Connor fucking Goldstein. Look at that. No getting past him. It, it, it's a joke, like, when you concede two goals, though, like, and you feel like your defence is pretty rock solid. Like, that's how you just know it's FIFA. Where the fuck... I mean, there's me hyping up Tamori. 
Where, where, where's he going now? He's, he's actually legit running away from the ball. It's 4 1, Connor Goldson misses the bicycle kick. I mean, I don't even care if it's 4 1. I feel like the defense was pretty fucking good. You know? But that's just FIFA for you. But, I mean, I'd say Goldson was, would be my man of the match, and I'm not just saying that, like, highlights will show that, but, yeah, and what's he at the player rate and what, I mean, I just, I mean, I just don't get it. Connor Goldson, 7.3, yep, he was the highest bar the goalie and Insigne who got the goal. So, yeah, I think, I think the game agrees with me on that. Next team, though, it's a better team than the one before, but <sighs> it's going to batter me. That front four. Yadder. Nantons, Nantons. What was I trying to say? Ne I was trying to say Nelson there. Nelson Nantons, but it was like a mixture. I don't even know what I'm going on, man. But I just feel like if we put that defensive performance in, it'll be good. I mean, I've put in Alex Tellez for uh, the other right back that I was using, but yeah. So first game with Alex Tellez, but I think Connor Goldson will continue what he done there. Yes, Ahmed Rodriguez from De Bruyne. Fuck, look at that. Connor Goldson again. Intercepting the play. Brilliant, and I just give it away. But, you know, this doesn't change the fact that he was the man there. Now, look at that. Making sure his man blasts it over. Awful defense. I mean, the fact he's allowed to back heel that into that area. It's just shocking, like, it's fucking embarrassing. I mean, who's 15? Jordan Henderson just needs put down. Oh, ho, ho, 2 1. Connor Goldson again. What he's showing them, who's the man? You're not getting past me. Connor Goldson again with a block. Look at that, fuck off, mate. Woo, Connor Goldson. Connor Goldson here and a bit of a pickle. But see, that's the game! That, I mean, that is the game! It's a brilliant interception, but the momentum has took him right. See, the game is so broke, like, you know, like, wh why? Why would, why? You know what I mean? Like, I've read the passage of play, Connor's read the passage of play, and the game's went, nah, you sure he'll fucking turn and spin here. No, no, no one wanted him to do that. That's not a blemish on his record, that's just the fucking game rigging, that's EA scripting. And it's 3-2, well, Calvert-Lewin and Hingy linking up again, as, I mean that was all for Connor Goldson again. Just win at the back, I'm counting with it. What a ball man, for fucking uh, Nick Pope. And it's Kim De Bruyne, how have you no scored man? Oh, Anthony Martial, Peachy a goal, man, and I think that wrapped it up. Pogba and him outside the boot. Good night. It's whipped in. Goldson clears it. Strong commanding header. Secures us the win. And again, I think Goldson will have to have a great rating here. Like, I know. Oh, give away their second goal. Oh, that's just EA. That's just EA. But Martial, obviously, he picks up a hat trick, so he will be getting man of the match. But overall, Goldson with another high rating. Not as high as I expect, I mean, I don't see why Henderson warrants an 8.2 like and, uh, Connor Goldson doesn't, but hey, that's just the way it is. But, in terms of the review, I mean, I'm not just saying this, but legit, I would say the best centre-back I've used this year. Now, I have not used, like, the likes of, you I mean, like, Ferran, Ramos, you know, like, inform Kyle Walker, for example, like the, or any icons. But to me... No, it's going to always benefit you. See, with like lower rated players who get in forms, their stats are going to get hella increased because they need to get them up to a high rating. And I think that's what's happened here. But you know what? In terms of a rating out of 10, I'd give him an 8. I think an 8 is pretty good. It's just the chemistry. It's just trying to get, you know, fit him into a team. But we're an all English team or trying to get him a strong link there, like a, you know. I mean, but you best go with an all English team. In all honesty, put Joe Gomez or something beside him. But anyway, guys, that will do it for episode... Episode? This player review, brother. Um, but yeah, Connor Goldson, brilliant. Stepping up to the task yet again. And uh, hopefully we get his red pick the Mora.